Hello everyone, welcome to Halo Moon Tarot. This is your weekly love reading for, where are we at? Taurus. Yes, Taurus. Welcome back to all my subscribers and a big welcome to all the new viewers. So before I get going, I just want to say um, I apologize. I was supposed to get my new features added to the videos this week and I have somebody building something. It's not done yet. I have lit a fire under them, but um, um, this person is an earth sign, so uh, fire is not really help. He's putting my fire out and I keep lighting them. So I'm doing my best here. It's getting a little frustrating, but it's all good, right? Just go with the flow, slow and steady, okay? <laughs> Oh, funny thing is, the person is a Taurus, actually, I believe, that is doing this for me. So there you go. It's fitting. All right. Gentle gardener. Yeah, so somebody's got that gentle gardener energy, the gentle touch. Somebody is feeling uh, gentle towards you. Okay, they have this gentle, sweet feeling. Okay, okay. Maybe that's a message for me to be gentle with this person when I light my fire under them to get them moving. <laughs> oh, goodness. Yes. All right. Here we go. Taurus. Overall energy and love. What do you need to know? What is changing? What's transforming? All right. Dragonfly. Truth transcends illusion. I feel like, you know, I see this image here with this gentle gardener and uh, I see this person looking down at what they're growing and they have this very fond uh, memories. Fond, they're just looking very fondly at this with this very, you know, it's gentle, it's mature, it's, I really like that card. I don't know why. I could literally stare at it for a week. It's just got this overwhelming soothing nurturing kind of thing right and then we have the dragon fly spirit i think somebody is um kind of watching you or you're watching them trying to get the truth uh trying not to allow the illusions to set in okay just trying to stay grounded about a situation and and bringing that gentle touch Yes, a little bit of nurturing, you know. Maybe you're due for some nurturing, Taurus, all right. Um, watching things grow. You're just going to try to see what happens uh, as things develop here in this love situation. So, Taurus, what's the overall energy surrounding Taurus in love and romance? What's transforming? What's changing? What does Taurus need to know about love and romance? Wants me to pick that one. Spread your wings. Oh, you're ready to spread your wings. Yeah, I feel like you're trying to keep an open mind. That's what I'm seeing. You're trying to keep an open mind. You're just open. You're open to this, but you want to get clarity. You want to see where it grows, how it develops. Uh, so you're taking it slow. You're giving it a lot of gentle thought, I feel. Uh, you're going to be very careful that you get the truth and there's no illusions, no delusions, okay? So your mind is wide open. You're ready to spread your wings. I think you're actually, you've grown and developed. There's something uh, that may have changed with you or it's this person coming towards you. So really nice. Um, I'm getting like kind of tingles. <laughs> Interesting. Yes, Taurus. Oops. All right, Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. What do you need to know about love? Clear messages and guidance for Taurus regarding their love life. What do they need to know? Clear messages and guidance, please, regarding love and romance for Taurus. What does Taurus need to know? Clarity for Taurus, please. All right. I feel like I need to really express that clarity yeah so i feel like you're uh, becoming more balanced um very much more balanced or something that um you're looking for justice for something fair 
okay uh, we got this libra energy here you're ready to keep you got your heart open your mind is open you're spreading your rings you're kind of ready for something but you want to get some clarity first so i think you're just kind of staying grounded to make sure things fair i actually almost feel like you're almost ready for some kind of commitment too you're you're starting to think about it uh, something's developing and growing here uh, within you yeah, so you've got somebody here, uh, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, who's very focused. Uh, they, You could be focused on them or vice versa. Um, hmm. Yeah, there is a balance between. You see this person is just right. Like you're, I, I feel like it's like you're up in your head and you're starting to see something, the, seeing the truth about a person they may be younger than you um they, this is a very focused person they may be putting some focus on you or vice versa um there's something that you're watching i feel about this person look what just came out yeah so you're ready yeah you are this king of pentacles you uh you're you You've been moving very slow. You know what you want. Um, you're paying attention to all the details. I think you're ready for something. You're ready to spread your wings. And I, I actually feel like you've grown. Something has grown or you've got some feelings that are growing with someone, but you're trying to take it easy. You want to make sure everything's fair and balanced. You do see this person is just right, Taurus, okay? Um, you're being very practical. You're taking it easy, though, and that's the biggest thing I see here. But, of course, you're a Taurus, right? Taking it slow. I, I do feel like this could be you focusing on this person, trying to figure them out, figure out what they want, what's going on. Uh, you're just going to take it easy. You're going to pay attention to all the little details before you open your heart or, you know, spread your wings and go for it. So this person has a lot of abundance. You see them just right. Um, you're trying to make some kind of a decision here. Uh, you're looking at all the details, all their abundance. You're trying to make choices and decisions revolving around this. There may have been some illusions, uh, things that you never noticed about this person before that you're noticing now. Okay, so yeah, look at that empress. They have a lot of abundance. Yeah, this is a very focused person, I feel. Um, I really do feel you're seeing them differently. I think you're starting to realize you, you maybe you weren't fair with this person before. You didn't put any focus on them. They Maybe they were focused on you. I don't necessarily feel this is a past thing, but it could be. Where you're trying to get to know somebody and you're just taking your time. But you see this person as the empress. Um, this is the card of Taurus, though. This very well could be you. Maybe this person is focused on you because you have a lot of abundance. Maybe you do. Maybe you've got lots of money. Uh, you might be a gardener. You may have a, a gardening business. You may have a farm. You may have all this property. Whatever it is, you want to make sure you do the right thing, okay? Uh, you want to make sure things are fair, things are just. I do think you see this person as just right and vice versa. Yes, I do think that this person... Uh, I think you're wa watching to see if this person has other options as well. You want to make sure you might have some fantasies about them. You may be fantas fantasizing about this person. They could be a Taurus as well. Uh, they could be a Libra. Yeah, the Emperor. Uh, we got some Aries energy here now. So, yes. So in the past, you might have been uh, very focused on somebody who was an Aries or a Libra or another Taurus who you thought was your Empress. They had all this abundance. And I feel like, but I'm going to, you know, I got this feeling that you had options, um, lots of abundant options around you in the past. And you were very focused on this one particular person. And they may have been an Aries, an Emperor. Uh, very, very much in control, the boss, maybe domineering, maybe even a little arrogant, that kind of thing. But for some reason, I feel like you got this new person here and I feel like they're focused on you. I feel like this person is very focused. They're very passionate. They may have spoke to you recently about illusions, you know, um, they're making you see some truth. Whatever they said, you're making something they said they just put out there. You're, you're kind of rolling it around and you're, you're, you're dissecting it completely and examining it. And 
you're starting to see this person as the emperor. We got the emperor and the empress here, and it's funny. I did a reading last night. It was a pick a card, and I think the emperor and the empress came up um, in one of them, but I'm not going to say which. <laughs> yeah. I don't want it to be a spoiler. I just about did, didn't I? Yeah, so there's that energy. So here it is. It's back again, Taurus. All right. So yes, I feel like we got Emperor and Empress energy here. Um, this could be an Aries around you. This person's very powerful. You're seeing them differently. You're seeing the truth. Something that they said to you is making you see the truth. Hierophant, yeah, you know, I think in the past you there were some things you didn't see about this person, uh, your beliefs and your traditions. There you are, you're very traditional, and I I think there was your beliefs and your traditions somehow something messed up here, and I can't quite put my finger on it. What the heck is it? <laughs> All right, Hierophant, what's going on, Taurus? Ah, yes, there's chemistry here and balance. There's a need to heal something. You've been trying to balance out uh, your traditions, your beliefs. Uh, I think you see this person, all their abundance. I think they're one, you may have a lot of options around you, um, but I think this person has abundance. You're trying to make a decision. Uh, you're possibly fantasizing about this person, uh, about marrying them, about commitment, uh, how you, you know, I, I do feel like there's something here that the two of you have. Uh, there's definitely chemistry. Uh, you're, there's something you need to heal to do with your beliefs, your traditions about this person. I really do. I, I feel as though we got some Sag energy here as well. Yes, something is needing to be healed between you and this person. I feel like you know there's chemistry. You believe in that, definitely. Um, they have everything that you want. But I feel like in the past you would seen this person as an option. You didn't really see the true them. But something they've said to you recently is making you see them differently. It's making you examine your beliefs about them, your traditions. You're learning things about this person. Uh, you're trying to balance your emotions. You're trying to keep temperature. You're being patient. But there's something being healed and balanced out. So you're being patient. You're taking your time before you reach out. Look at that. Yeah, you're examining this person, everything they say and everything they do. Look at that. Yeah, you're manifesting something. You want to manifest a new beginning with them. Um, you're looking at something, whatever it is they said, and you're examining it and you're picking it apart. They could be manifesting you. You could be manifesting them. But there's this mirroring. There's something about the two of you. You're, you're seeing, yeah, you're seeing the possibilities. You're starting to see the possibilities in this person where in the past you didn't. There's something to do with marriage commitment. You're starting to see this person's abundance as they're just right for you. Yeah, you may have had delusions about them in the past, been confused, but now you're seeing it different. That's really all that's going on. Yeah, you want to move forward with this person. You've been learning. You've learned a lot about them. All right, you're putting everything you've learned about them in this boat, and you're moving forward calmly and peacefully. You're definitely thinking about them. You want to manifest a new beginning. Uh, you may want to make peace with them. You may want to go and see this person and talk to them about everything uh, that you've learned okay about them or uh or you're telling them you want to know more about them that kind of thing because you're really in a manifestation mode you have all the tools you need i think you have all the information you need you're just kind of taking your time and uh you know maybe you're heading off towards this person for more info but you're going to move forward slow and steady here you're you're very much open to this you're or if you weren't in the past you certainly are now so Ooh, what are you up to, Taurus? What's going on? All right. This could flip, too. It could be this person. So the gentle gardener. Tell me about this gentle gardener. Uh, you know what? I feel like using a different deck this round. Yes. All right. Gentle gardener. There we go. Uh, yes, so you are looking at something that somebody said here. You're looking at very slowly. You're looking to see if there's room for growth. You can see this person's changed. They've grown. You have a 
very soft spot for this person uh, this younger fire sign or this person is very passionate uh, you're quite focused on them as well you're putting some focus on them and i think they're focused on you they are a focused person period all right they are they got this emperor empress energy or this emperor energy i think you're seeing them as the emperor of course if it's an aries uh, it certainly doesn't have to be if it's another taurus or a, a libra yeah, you could be the one focusing on them. Tell me about the dragonfly. Oh, these cards are slippery. Dragonfly spirit. There we go. Ah, uh, yeah. So, yeah, you're starting to see the truth. This person, you are looking into the future. You're seeing the truth. This person makes you happy. Yes. You see this person as a happily ever after. You're start, you have a gentle, you have, there's something here with this person. You're watching them with a very gentle manner. It's like you're watching them grow. It kind of makes you happy. Something they said has made you happy. Uh, you see them as a happily ever after. Yeah, look at that. There's some kind of offer being made. Uh, this new beginning, maybe they made you an offer. Maybe you made them one. I feel like it's you with the earth energy. You want a new beginning with this person. Uh, you're ready to, you know, you're almost ready to spread your wings here. I feel you're at a two and come together with this person, like with open arms. Like you're you're starting to be more open to this person. Yeah, you don't want to let go of them, but you're holding on here. Like I don't feel like you're quite ready to. You're getting there. You're learning about them. You're looking at all the details. All right, and you're starting to realize you don't really want to let go of this person. And you never probably have. You may have known each other a long time. You're just seeing them differently now. And it's all because of something that they said. Yeah, see, as soon as I said that, here out comes the hermit. Yeah, you're looking and really thinking about something they said. You're really watching them. Uh, they're very focused. Uh, you might see that they think they're a little immature or something, but I don't think so. I, I think you see them being focused. I think you see them being playful, light, lively. Uh, they seem so young. Uh, they may not even be younger than you, but they have that quality. You're seeing them differently. You're shining a light. You're going within and you're thinking about them. Really, wow. Justice. What's going on with justice? There we go. Yeah. So, ooh. Yeah. My goodness, Empress Energy. You see this person is just right. You're seeing them different. You see they have all the qualities that you want. They're everything. Absolutely Empress quality. Yeah, they have all this abundance. You, you, Everything is just right about them. You feel that balance. I think you want to make things right with them. You see this person as a wife, as a mother. Okay, yeah, you're starting to... Think about marriage, commitment, page of wands, what's going on. If you've been thinking about getting married, moving forward, uh, being committed to somebody, maybe, you know, uh, engagement, you see this person is happy. I feel like you want to do something for them. You may give them something and make them happy because uh, you don't want to let go. You're just really, I think you've been stuck on this person for a long time and you kind of haven't been moving and you're ready to just open up your heart, I feel, and go for this. Page of Wands. What did this person say? Yeah, you're really stuck on something they said. What is this Page of Wands? What did they say? Nine. This person said something about success, about moving forward. Uh, somebody here... Wow, Nine of Wands is really somebody who's worked very hard, almost ready to give up on something. And uh, and then they moved forward. They put it behind them and had success. So whatever it is they said here was something to do with putting things behind in success, all the trials and tribula tribulations. Uh, I think you, this person was almost ready to give up on you. Yeah, there we go. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. I feel like this person's having success. I think they've put all their past behind them and they're moving forward with success. Uh, I think uh, 
they have some earth in their chart that could be your connection they may have taurus virgo or capricorn in their chart uh, they might be watching you if they're a virgo uh, right or maybe they have somebody else watching them too who knows right <laughs> but i feel like that's you uh, really examining thinking deeply uh, about this person tell me about this king of pentacles what's going on here with taurus with this king of pentacles justice yeah you're trying to do the right thing i think you've been taking the time trying to get your balance uh trying to do the right thing i think you want to do things fair i do think you you're thinking about marriage i don't think you want to let go of this person they're just right for you you're being practical about it um you've been taking your time watching them examining everything about them there's, we got the King and Queen of Pentacles. We have a power couple here times two. Like, wow, right? Yeah. I think you want to move things forward with this person because you don't want to let go. They're just right for you. And it's taken you like forever to figure this out. That's what I'm seeing. Tell me about this. Yeah, you see the justice, the balance. You're thinking about marriage and taking this to another level um, or at least committing, okay? I do feel like you're quite balanced these days and you're really, it's like you want to make something right. You want to do the right thing. Yeah. Yeah, you're ready for teamwork. You want to do the right thing. You want to work with this person and team up. You want to create uh, something with them. Wow. This person's a team player. Uh, you may know that already. You've been holding on. You've been looking at the details. You see them as a team player. They make, you know, you're, you work good as a team, that kind of thing. Tell me about the... Whew, yeah, so here we go. So I feel... I feel like you're going to talk to this person. You're going to make them a little offer. I actually think they have other options. i got to be honest. I do feel they have other people around them that see them the same way you do. Maybe even a Virgo. Um, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy I'm seeing here. This could be you. It all could be you. But I have to be honest. I feel like they have options. Other people who see their abundance who are making them offers. Uh, some of them are younger people. Little fishy offers. They might be getting an apology from a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio who wants to take it to the next level. Somebody's becoming loved up. Um, starting out small baby steps. All right. So maybe this is you. Maybe you want to make them an offer. You want to talk to them. Maybe you want to just ask them if they're seeing anyone else. All right, if they have other people, other options uh, before you extend that cup. But you're feeling pretty loved up if this is you. Uh, I kind of feel like it is, but I do think they possibly have somebody else watching them as well. Okay, keeping an eye on them, trying to see what they're up to. Um, they may have said something uh, similar to the other person with that fiery nature uh, that this person is focusing on that they said. Okay, yeah, tell me about the, the Empress. What's going on with the Empress? Why is the Empress here? Why is the Empress here? Ah, yes, there we go. We have King of Rods, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Somebody wants to come in and take control. This person could be an Aries, most definitely. Uh, this person's got everything that you want or somebody else is seeing that. Somebody wants to come in and take control of this or it's them they're a business they, they're self-employed they've been working hard what there's something to do with this person's success their abundance something they've built um the, the this entrepreneurial spirit very hands-on hard working very physical um lots of charisma stamina very capable very creative because uh, the empress is creative as well uh, I, I feel like this person's kind of got it all. I think you're seeing this person different. I do think they've been concentrating on themselves, taking care of themselves. They've been very focused on something. You're recognizing this as a trait that you really like. And I think somebody else is too, because I do think they have options. People are recognizing uh, your person you're seeing this person too. I, I think they've spread their wings. They've grown. They've changed. And I think you have two Taurus. And I do think you want to hold on to this person. 
but I think, you know, you're gathering info here. I can see you're manifesting uh, this. you got all the tools you need here to move forward, okay? You've, you've gathered up info, so you're waiting uh, to find out more. If they got other options, what's going on, uh, everything else you need to know before you manifest this new beginning. So you're, you're still probably, you know, just looking at all the info that you've gathered about them. And, uh, yeah, trying to manifest this, right? This is hilarious. Emperor. I'm not feeling much negative anything in this. I just feel like there's you've got this person, you may have known them a while, but you've seen you're seeing them differently. Uh, suddenly you're seeing them different. Something it's all about the something that they said that's got you thinking. Then you started watching them, examining them, whatever it is they're saying, you're taking it deep within, but you're not the only one. Yeah, tell me about this emperor. I think you want to come in and fight for this person. If this is you, Taurus, if you've got any uh, Aries, Leo, Sag in your chart, I kind of feel like you want to come in and take control of this person. Uh, you want to fight for them. Like you're, It's like you're facing your opponent here, the other options. And I think you, you this is what you're trying to find out, if they have someone else. Um, because you want to know how to manifest this, right? You want to know what tricks to pull off here. You're facing your opponent, I feel. I really do. Tell me about the emperor. Yeah, you want to own. This is your empress. You're not going to let this person get away. Nope. The emperor. Yeah, there's some strength. This person's very, very strong. Okay. Um, yeah, you see this person's strength. You're seeing them like the emperor. You're like, holy cow. You've seen this person, I think, go through a lot. I think you've seen them spread their wings. You've seen them develop. You've seen them grow. Um, you're, you're learning more and more about this person every day. Tell me about the Hierophant. Yeah, you're really learning about them. You you want to know if this person, you don't even know if they're in a relationship. Um, I think you know them, but I, maybe you haven't been around them a lot lately or something. But yeah, tell me about the Hierophant. Yeah. You've been working on your beliefs, your traditions, all right, uh, but traditionally you're a hard worker. I think this person is. I think you've been working on yourself. Uh, I think you want to work with this person. You want to learn from them. Uh, I think something they said to you has put you into this learning mode, uh, making you want to build with them, uh, build a, a relationship, a commitment. Mm -hmm. Temperance. What's going on here with temperance? Yeah, so there is something that's, uh, there is balance here. You see a balance. You want a wish come true with this person. I feel like in the past you never told this. There's something that needs healing. You never ever told this person how you feel about them. You offered them one cup. You kept the rest to yourself. I don't think you ever really told this person. You kept everything secret. We got Cancer Pisces energy, and I actually think this person is healing, still healing from something. I'm going to be honest. I feel like they have somebody else around them that may have treated them like an option that's going to come in and apologize uh, for not recognizing all their wonderful qualities, not seeing the possibilities. This person now sees those possibilities. You're going to have to fight with this person. Um, you aren't going to take a stand. You, you're, I don't think you want to lose this person, okay, whoever they are. They could be an Aries, a Taurus, a Libra, um, a Gemini, um, a Virgo. Uh, I do see a Virgo energy here. Somebody else is manifesting the same person you're manifesting. Yeah, I think they're healing from something. Somebody kept secrets in the past. Uh, some Pisces energy, possibly a Cancer. Um, you may have Pisces or Cancer in your chart or them, but yeah, I feel like there's something that they're healing from. Uh, somebody was smug, didn't treat them quite right, kept secrets. Uh, but I feel as though this your person has learned a lot. They've been working and they've learned a lot. And I think you have a lot to gain and learn from this person. And I think this other person is learning from this person, your person as well. Crazy, I know, but... Whoever they are, whatever it is this person said, it, they may be small, 
They may be fiery, but they're very passionate about what they believe. Something about what they said about their beliefs has got you thinking, and it's got this other person thinking. There is some truth that needs to come out. Somebody wants to speak the truth. They want to clear things up about their feelings and their emotions. I think this person's coming in to apologize, this Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. Um, they're going to start small. They're a little apprehensive because I think this person may not have been fair uh, to, your, to this person in the past. And if it's not them and there is no one else, this is you. Uh, you did not hold this person in high regard. Somebody wasn't treated fair. But now it's like this something has changed. Somebody's coming in with a gentle touch. Somebody's been watching someone and they're seeing. Um, it's like softening uh, for this person because of something that they said. Sometimes, you know, all it takes is a word or two uh, to leave somebody with those right words you speak. Uh, let them go away. Let them go into hermit mode and let them think. Just leave them be and let them sort it out. Uh, if they're the person for you, they will figure it out. And it, sometimes it can totally change the course of events. It's just a matter of saying it, being passionate. you got to believe it. Uh, being gentle and just leaving it at that. Let that person go deep and think about it. But yeah, I I, I got to be honest, Taurus. Your person has somebody else too. Um, yep, I said somebody they took a stand with in the past. Somebody they stood up to and they were brave to. They may not have told you that. Maybe you're going to, they're going to tell you this. This may not have even happened yet. Uh, if you approach this person, uh, you may chat with them and talk and they may tell you about this. Uh, I do think you're thinking of making them an offer. Um, they may tell you something about this situation, okay, in a very practical manner. Um, this person's going to be looking into the future to see if they see you in their future because I feel like they really took a stand. They're going to tell you that they took a stand and stood up for themselves to somebody. And I, if, maybe you were just friends with this person. And now that they say this, they're going to tell you the story. And it's going to make you go deep and think about it. Because i got to tell you, I think this other person's story has similarities to what happened between you and this person, some of you, in the past. And it's going to make you think. Okay. It's going to bring a victory. Um, you're going to clear some things out. You want a victory with this person. I do think you see them as a wish come true. And I think you need to speak your truth that you've always had feelings for this person. You want this person to take a leap of faith. You want a new beginning. You're hoping they'll take a risk on you and take a chance. Okay. But you're still gathering info. I think you're focused on them. Uh, I think you can't stop thinking about them. I think there's some things you want to clear up. And I don't think you're the only one. I think there's somebody else coming in that never told this person how they felt before, too. I think you're thinking about telling them the truth. You're thinking about the story they're telling you, and you're going to see some of you in that story. That's what I think. I don't think it's anything really horrible. I just think um, this empress person uh, around you, I think this person has got a lot of amazing qualities and I don't think they're ever recognized. I don't think people see the possibilities, uh, but they're starting to, all right? They're starting to see this person as very abundant, as a very abundant option. They're starting to see the possibilities, but I feel like your person stood up to this water sign person. Maybe it was you. Um, very passionately about not being anybody's option, about being held in high regard and treated fair and treated properly. Some kind of an apology. Um, I do feel like it's someone else. I think you're going to have to fight for this person. And I think you have the willpower and the stamina to do so. Yep, you're fighting for your person. You have a connection. You, you have a mental and emotional connection. Ooh, could be them coming in to fight for you as well. All right. Yeah, no, this person's going to walk away from the past and move towards you. Uh, I think they're going to leave this other person in the past, and they're going to move towards you. They see you more as a happily ever after. And if this is your story and it flips, and you've got this story of someone you stood up to, you're going to leave that in the past and move towards this emperor person, who uh, this very strong, capable person. Uh, you're seeing this person's strength. That's phenomenal. Uh, what they do. All right. 
Wow. Empress energy, sexy, sensual, very strong, very capable, very passionate, very healing, earthy, uh, natural, um, Mother Earth, you name it. She's got it all. Tell me about the magician. Yeah, so you're very passionate about this new beginning. Look at that, holding that wand. It's funny, I was looking at that when I was saying to clarify this and then out came this so you want this victory you have all the tools you need to win this and have this new beginning you have what you need you already got it you know it you're holding it in your hand so you're I think you're a step above this other person who may not have been honest with your person in the past okay you're going to move forward you have all the tools you need you're learning about them you're passionate about this new beginning you're holding it Whatever it is that you've got that's going to make you be the winner, it's something you can hold in your hand. It's something you're passionate about. You want to hold on to that to move forward, okay? You've got the baton. You've got the wand. You're the one. You're the one that they find very sexy and attractive. That's what it is. They find you more attractive maybe than the other person. I don't know. Anyway, it could be that. Tell me about the six of swords where is this leading where does the six of swords lead yeah you're going to use the things you learned and to move forward calmly and peacefully with this person yeah so there you are slow and steady wins the race you're gonna you're, you you want to you want things to go calmly and peacefully so you're going to uh, take your time learning doing moving forward towards this person and doing it the right way it's not that you're going to go horribly slow i think you just want to do it the right way because once you've got all the tools you need you find this person very attractive and they do to you but i i think you've you're going to be the one to win because they find you the most attractive to be honest I don't know. It, it seems like that to me. All right. Because like I said, I was looking at this wand and I said, clarify the magician and out came this. And then my eye immediately was dragged to that. It's like you are holding the one thing that's going to make you be able to move forward with this. You have something already that you've learned that you know about this person that's going to make you the winner. Now, this other person they don't always tell the truth. This person doesn't always speak the truth. They're going to come in as well and try to clear things up with your person. But I don't think this person is going to tell the truth yet again. That is the problem. I think you're going to win. Yes. All right. So I'm going to grab some outcome because I'm going to... Some of these readings sometimes, I gotta tell ya. Yeah. This is a fun one. All right, Taurus. Here we go. I'm afraid to look. I'm afraid. <laughs> there we go. Taurus, come on. What is the outcome? There we go. Cornucopia. All that abundance. Yes, you've got it. You're holding it. You have the tools you need to move forward towards this person calmly and peacefully. You're going to do the right thing. You want to go about this the right way. Okay, very nice. You're going to make peace with this person if you need to. Okay, very much so. Beautiful. Oops, come on, cards. There we go. me to take that one. Ooh, deceit. Yeah, so somebody somebody is being deceptive here. So be very careful about deception. This person might be worried about being deceived because I see there is a deceitful person here and I do think this person's going to tell you about it, okay? Somebody wants your empress for all their abundance, for all their beauty, all their money, whatever it is that they have that's going on that's it it's very it's big, whatever it is, okay? Somebody wants to come in. They want that, and they want it going to use deception. And uh, I, I, don't, I don't feel like it's you. Um, I feel like it's this person. They may be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. They may be a Virgo, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, okay? Um, the temple path. Yeah, you're on the right path. You, it's like I just said, you're on the right path. You're okay. It's this other person. All right. 
it's this other person so i do that's what i said i think this person your person's gonna they know you are connected you have an emotional and mental and you know it you're gonna win you're gonna fight for this person uh you may challenge this person um, it may not you may never ever meet this person but they your person is going to walk away from them because there was cups missing they're going to come towards you okay so you're going to win this regardless i can see that clearly but there's someone here that's deceptive and dishonest uh, i do feel like this person could be a virgo all right i do um here we go angel of balance is going to come in and balance this out the, your person is protected by angels right now so are you uh there is a uh, an angel making sure this stays balanced it stays fair uh, and that's the most important thing all right so make sure you play fair i feel like i really feel like this person here your your person whoever they are i feel like they're in aries leo taurus libra it's hard to say so much and there's so much energy and people around this person but this the one they stood up to that treated them like an option that didn't treat them right is now thinking about something they said too and so are you all right whatever it is they tell you about this person it's going to throw you into retrospect as well because you have something in here that you may have played a part of too um, not sharing your feelings or your emotions, but not necessarily for the wrong reasons. This person treated your person as an option and they stood up to them. So they're leaving them behind and coming towards you because you hold the baton. You're the best. Yeah, look at that. They're coming after you. You see them as very sexy and attractive and vice versa. So Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. All right, everybody. Holy cow. So you're going to hear a story. If you haven't, they may tell you a story. This person. All right. There's somebody you've known, but I don't really feel like you've been in a relationship, but you're starting to think of them differently. So I'm just doing a quick recap and uh, you're seeing this person different. But once you start to move towards them and you see them as a happily ever after and you make an offer and you're learning things about them, you're ready to open up your heart and spread your wings. Um, this person's going to tell you something about this person who is still watching them. And uh, yeah, so be ready. All right. Take care of yourselves, everyone. I wish you the best. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Uh, check out my playlists. Um, I'm putting up bonus readings and I'm putting up daily pick a cards for fun. Really enjoying it. All right. Take care and I will see you next week. Bye for now.